What up guys, we're back with another video and we are, this is Top PC Guides and we are here to teach you how to fix the isdone.dll error. Now, the main way of doing it is to basically use CC Cleaner and go ahead and fix the registry errors that you are getting that CC Cleaner will find. And that should fix it. But if that doesn't work, then we're going to have to do it manually just to be able to fix it. Now we have DLL files right here, dllfiles.com, which you go ahead and download the DLL file from here. It's a trusted website, so I wouldn't really worry about if it's not trusted or not, because this is a really good website to get DLL files. Now, is done dot DLL. I think it's supposed to be lowercase, but okay. Um, but anyways, for for Windows, um, for a lower Windows version like Windows ME and everything, will be in Win. C slash Windows slash system uh, for older operating systems like Windows 98 it would be in C slash win NT slash system 32 and for the current ones it would be in C slash Windows slash system 32 now for 64 bit it's a little bit different so Windows C slash system 32 this is where we put it in for system 32, but if you're using 64 bit, you're going to have to run it through here. And we're just going to go ahead and put it in here. But if there's already a file in there, you want to back up your old one and then go ahead and put it in the new one. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in both both locations in system 32 and SYS WoW 64 just to make sure that it will work. And then basically, if and then you simply just restart your computer. But if that doesn't work, we're going to do something way different. We're going to go into command prompt. We're going to run in as administrator. And then what we're going to do is that we are going to put in reg s v r is done dot d l l and I think I just put it in wrong. Oh, reg svr32 is done dot dll alright hold on uh, reg svr I knew it was named weird it was like it's capital is Come on, I could just do this And then, enter. And normally you wouldn't get this error. Oh, but after that, you would have to restart your computer. So after this, just simply restart your computer, and then the error should be gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and, for if you don't know how to restart your computer for Windows 8, just do that. Power restart. Anyways, guys, this is it. This is Top PC Guides, and I will see you guys later.